Brother David Parsons, pastor of the host church. Uh, we always like to take a few minutes for those that are, wants to do it now. Brother David's scheduled a preacher in a little while, but you know, we'll go ahead and say a few words before we got to that part of the service. So uh, I'd like to, if you would, to give your attention as we ask Brother David Parsons to come with a welcome to us this morning. On the behalf of Berkshire Union Church, we welcome you to these grounds. We pray that God's power and Spirit will pour it out and give you a great blessing that you're not able to contain this morning. Most of all, our desire is that anybody here is lost and undone and don't know the Lord, that He may speak to your heart today. Come on, my Lord. As you look around the grounds, we try our very best to make it just as convenient we can for you. If you need anything, a towel, somebody wearing a bleep hat or t-shirt, we'll provide everything for you that we can. Before the party's up here, later on we have lunch, and then over there on the other side we've got a bigger tent over there to eat under. And all those that are not able to Go up and around later on. Uh, if you will, just go over and sit down, and we will deliver to you. <coughs> but let's come to worship the Lord this morning. Amen. Amen. Well, that, that part will take care of itself. But let's come to worship the Lord, the Spirit and the truth, because I'm hungry. Yeah, come on. Yeah. Bless you. Yeah, come on. Bless you. Come on. I'm hungry to be fed with the man. Come on, brother. Amen. Come on. That's right. It's a joy to see faces not seen in the year. Yeah. And I, we had prayer this morning. I asked the people, where did the year go? Yeah. Yeah. Just like a baby. That's it. We appeared for a little while and vanished away. That's our life on this earth. Yeah. Well, I thank God this morning I've got a better place to go. Come on. Yeah. Amen. Come on. Amen. Well, Brother Roger Print, 31 years ago, said, if the Holy Spirit will welcome you here. And I pray that the Holy Spirit will welcome you this morning. Yeah, come on. Let's worship the Lord. Yeah, I have. Yeah, I have. Yeah, I have. Yeah. Thank you, Brother David. Appreciate the welcome. Certainly, I was telling this morning that I couldn't ask for a more accommodating layout than I saw. Looks like everything is very, uh, very close by. I'm sure that we all appreciate the effort that's went into the hosting. If you've never hosted the association, probably don't always appreciate everything that's involved with it. From the, from the Friday afternoon when they say you got it to well, until we leave here on Sunday, uh, it's a it's a full dedication to take care of hosting this grand body. And, uh, we are know that it's a it's a service of labor of love and for everyone that hosts it. I know Berkshire feels the same way uh, this year. Want to? Um, it's customary that we appoint a religious exercise committee to take care of the business as far as trying to make sure that the churches that may be having services I don't know we'll find out more about that after a while uh, but if your church is having services if you might uh, please get that information to the religious exercise committee and if you don't have someone to come preach then they'll do their best to help you fill the pulpit uh, they'll also be in charge of making sure that our scheduling for the city that this association is taken care of and I'd like to ask these men, if they would, to uh, be the committee for religious exercises. That would be Steve Hunt, chair of the committee, Gail McCullough, and Bradley Bolton. <laughs> want to remind everyone just to, I probably already said this, but delegate ribbons for after a while, if you've 
business time for the after lunch or after business to be sure that's taken care of. The, uh, before we have the prayer, go to prayer, we want to ask if is Bradley Bowen, excuse me, Bradley Brown, sorry, uh, is he in the tent? You want to come sing for us, young man? Uh, he's not? Yeah, not yet. I'm here. <laughs> you didn't see me. <laughs> How about that? He even surprised that. I, uh, I didn't have one prepared this year. I didn't really have anything in mind. Uh, all right. Well, I'll find something in here real quick for you. <laughs> uh, it's really nice to be here. I've, I've enjoyed. I enjoy this every year. I'm glad I can make it this year. If you want to sing with me, it'll be page 38 in this uh, brown book. Page 38. <laughs> Tempted and tried, we're off made to wonder why it should. Oh! 
Appreciate wonderful little song. Appreciate that. Bradley. Young men, always good to see our young people stepping out. Amen. In the service of the Lord, what a blessing it is. I've always, uh, you know, I've always thought about young folks. Uh, the very youngest, even those that come up and barely toddling up to the front that are church houses singing Jesus Loves Me to the very oldest. We all are in it together. The church of today, you know what I've always said about them being the church of the day, they're the church leaders of tomorrow. And we hope today that we'll support them, we'll all give them encouragement in every way that we can to see them do the work of the Lord. Want to uh, everybody that's had plenty of room, come on in if you want. If you're outside, like to come in. There's all kinds of chairs over here just to ride with me. Uh, we certainly got plenty of chairs in the building uh, that to come and sit. Be glad to have you to do that. So, um, so we're we're thankful today for the, these blessings that God has put upon us. Sister Aubrey, you you come sing. <laughs> Last verse. It will comfort 
and protect you. In your midnight hours, a Lord, it will save your wayward children and restore your broken home. Fly your spirit out of prison and turn your hatred into love. I'm a-talking about my Savior's precious blood. It will heal your mind and body. It will save your soul from sin. It will take you back to heaven where it all began. It will take you through the fire. It will take you through the flood. I'm a talking about my Savior's precious blood. Let's go. Amen to that. Thank God. Morning singing. We'll have more singing as we go through the association after lunch today. We'll have more. And everybody just be mindful. Go to the Lord in prayer. Have his brethren are coming to bring the message this morning. Here just a little bit. Elder David Parson, his introductory elder, Ernest Sider. We'll be following him. And before we get to that point, we feel it needful that we go to the Lord in prayer. I want to give way to you this morning to way a prayer request. If anybody has a prayer request you'd like to make known, certainly be glad to hear that right now. Anybody? Everybody in my Roy, and Vicky. <coughs> Father, just to ask that I keep Brother Lewis in your prayers while he's going through. And certainly he's, his thoughts are with the congregation, with the association of people. We ask to keep others in prayer too that aren't able to be here. They haven't passed on yet. The days are getting near and the Spirit's getting strong. It's nothing but for a young person, if you will, or somebody in the middle of age, it's just an encouragement see that. Amen. We ask that the Lord's hand would be upon them and that He might, might comfort them, might yield to them the joy and the peace that I felt already here as yes. being amongst the brethren. Amen. 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 Appreciate that. Well, it's very like for everybody to remember our folks that's lost. But the great God of heaven would be on the them. We've got several folks out at the top of the road that's going through the afflictions of the body, I'd like to ask folks to remember them. Yeah. We're certainly thankful for the privilege and the opportunity of being able to gather today. We're certainly thankful that things are as well with Philip as they are, considering it could have been so much worse. But uh, everything went pretty well for him yesterday as far as the storm. He just had a lot of rain, didn't have any damage. and so. We're certainly thankful to God for being mindful of him and his family. Uh, we certainly ask you to continue to remember uh, all our folks that's lost. Uh, we're living down in a time when folks would rather do the things of the world than the things of God. I know God's able. Open up their eyes and unstop their ears that they don't see and hear it come and be converted. So let's earnestly pray yeah, that we would see the great drawing power of God fall among us. Yeah. We certainly covet your prayers on our behalf. Someone else. The brother remember Dick Davis, he's on his way to Charlottesville for surgery. They need your prayers. Amen. Jerry, I'd like to everybody to remember Daniel Hurd. Do you have anything back here? Remember, Brother Jim Bowen, his health failing. And remember, Sister Brenda Bowen, she's in a nursing home now. I'm sorry for the fact that the prevention is a little bit of a fire. But it's just good to be here. 
receive us up into that other better kingdom where we give you more perfect praise. In Jesus' name we ask, and amen. 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 amen.
but God has blessed them both greatly in the ministry. So we'll give way at this time, Brother David.